What's up everybody and welcome back to another X Defiant update from yours truly, the Skateboard Views. Season 2 is here and it's brought with it a lot of updates. The biggest one is it finally brought bomb mode back in. The one life mode where you try to blow up the bomb site or defuse it or keep the other opponents from setting up their bombs. It also brought a slew of weapons, and this one was in the PP-19. It's the first one you can unlock through the battle pass, SMG style, high ammo capacity. Mediocre damage, but it's good for short range, decent at medium range, not great at long range, but can't be used. Easy to control, good overall weapon. I can see it being very friendly to uh, some of the lesser skilled users here. Good in a lot of different situations. The Highwayman faction ended up being really good, that's what we're using here. The passives, I was afraid would be overpowered, but they're actually very minute. They do make a difference, but they're not super noticeable. It doesn't seem like somebody can just go on with the vector and tear off anyone they could with any other class, more or less. But it does make the reloads noticeably faster, which helps out, especially on something like PP-19, where it takes a little longer because of the magazine capacity. And the rate of fire isn't super noticeable, but you can tell it picks up a little bit. They're small increments, definitely not overpowered, just adds a little extra something. I can see even me, myself using this class quite often. The scrap turret is super useful on game modes like Domination and Bomb, where you can put them down in a site and kind of defend the area. They're easy to destroy, but they also have a decent hit radius. They just don't do a whole lot of damage, so it does take quite a few hits. But if you set them up, you can get some easy assists with it. The M79 grenade launcher is not that impressive. It does do heavy damage. If you hit your opponent, you're going to kill them, but you have to get it pretty close for an explosive device. It doesn't make that huge of a difference since it's only two shot and a very slow reload process. It's not one I'm going to be using a whole heck of a lot outside of unlocking the character in the little TM loop, so you get through that one. But overall, I like the Highwayman faction. I think I'll use that alongside Dead Sex in my top two for the time being. The bomb game mode is super fun. You can really get in some agitated spots. The new map Waterfront is a whole heck of a lot of fun. It's a good sized map. Pretty big, so with Bomb it gives a lot of places to hide and these games can go on for a minute while you try to find the last person. Smaller maps like Dumbo, Arena, it can go a lot faster. Um, but it is a fun mode. Water map is a fun map. I would definitely suggest checking back out for Season 2 if you like the game. If you were not super into the game and you're waiting for them to make some kind of big change to bring you back in, I'm not sure you're ever going to get that. Um, the netcode seems to be improved a little bit more dramatic than other instances. I don't seem to be dying around walls as much, but I do trade deaths more, as in me and my opponent will kill each other simultaneously more frequently than we used to in the past. So that part's a little bit of a bummer, but the not dying behind walls much is a much improved. Still happens, I've died around a few walls still, but it's better. The updates overall have made the game much smoother, more playable. They've made a lot of good calls. They've been listening to the fan base. So if you stuck around this long, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, show me some love, let's help push this video out to more viewers, and then we'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of the video.